Our next guest wrote an op-ed saying Facebook is allowing politicians to lie openly. It's time to regulate. Dipayan Ghosh is a former Facebook policy advisor, a post he held until 2017. He joins us now. Dipayan, uh, politicians lying is hardly a new phenomenon. What exactly did you mean back in 2019, and how do you think it applies to where we find ourselves today? Well, I think uh, we're, in, we're in such a, a difficult circumstance uh, today where uh, Donald Trump has, has, President Trump has been spreading hate, has been spreading uh, violent, inciting material, misinformation uh, for years now, including this week. And what's happened is that uh, his content has spread over the major social media networks, uh, including Facebook. And what we know as well is that uh, there has been a lot of uh, this content circulating on Facebook. There have been a number of groups that have formed up on Facebook. Uh, and uh, his content and all of the hateful content that it has uh, spurred up uh, has, has had a lot of media impact in, uh, in the American social media market. Uh, what does that all mean? It, it means that Facebook is uh, complicit because I think what has happened here is that uh, Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, suggested uh, uh, strongly that he's he's in favor of free speech. But why did he make that speech? Why did he put his company on that position in late 2019? Really, uh, I think it's I think it was hmm. really about the commercial interests of the company. So, so Depayan, we now have the benefit of seeing what's happened over the past few days and through 2020. Let's get in the DeLorean, let's get in the time machine and construct better policy for Facebook and the other social media companies based on that. I mean, Donald Trump was still the president during that time. What could you realistically, what should you realistically have done about it if you're Mark Zuckerberg and Facebook? I mean, in, in 2019, we had already seen, we were three years removed from the 2016 election. And uh, we saw other companies uh, take steps uh, to limit micro-targeting of political advertising, to assure, uh, reassure the public that uh, they would uh, protect the public, the voting population, against misinformation, disinformation, conspiracies. And yet, uh, imagine the courage it, it must have taken Mark Zuckerberg to get up on the stage at, at Georgetown and in front of the world say that even if President Trump spreads political lies Th uh, on my platform, through my platform's uh, universe, I'm not going to do anything about it. Even if it, in it intentionally is meant to misinform the voting population in the United States. What, what should he have done at that stage? He should have uh, explicitly said, we are going to do something about it. And of course, he has done something about it now, but it, it's, it's, it's all too late. You know, uh, now Biden has been elected. He knows that if he doesn't do uh, exactly what he's done this morning, which is to uh, suspend President Trump's account uh, indefinitely for, for at least two weeks and indefinitely, he knows that, that that's, that's not going to uh, necessarily be enough. And, and he, he, yet he has to do it because uh, Democrats are coming into power in, in, in all uh, parts of government. So uh, this, this should have happened a long time ago. Uh, and... What has happened instead is that uh, Facebook's policy decisions two years back have incited all this uh, hate and violence and conspiracy, uh, have facilitated its spread, and we now have to deal with that. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.